surely there's something better for personal respiratory protection than requiring people to try and breathe through a particle filter. For us, instead of trying to filter out those small particles, we choose instead to inactivate them. For Michigan Turkey, there are all of these unwanted side effects of preventing transmission of respiratory diseases between their workers that would, you know, if, they, if it went unchecked, it would hinder their ability to process quickly, but the solutions that were out there caused their own problems. And so Michigan Turkey is like, help us do better than this. The air curtain by itself within Tazaya, we had found the 95, greater than 95% reduction in the number of aerosols that we should breathe in zone aware of. Amazingly, when we sent the air curtain to a third party independent testing lab, they found far better results. They found 99.8% um, reduction. If there are a thousand particles approaching your face, wearing the air curtain knocks that number down to three. But that's just the first of the two components of our approach, right? So we still have the plasma that is inactivating viruses in the air used to form the air curtain. And so from the work in my U of M lab, what we found is that the plasma can also achieve more than two log reduction, so greater than 99% reduction in the number of infectious viruses after the plasma treatment as compared to before. So you have these two things. One is the air curtain providing an obstacle, providing deflection of aerosols, 99.8%. The plasma providing an activation of any airborne pathogens that would be in the air that is used to form the air curtain, 99 plus percent. So the two together are what form the solution that we have that is this wearable device. This device allows people to continue to use their face and facial expressions their mouth, they access their nose and mouth in ways that they couldn't do with a conventional face mask. So eating and drinking while still remaining protected. That means you're, you know, if you are immunocompromised or if you are otherwise still skittish about going out into public spaces, going out to eat or drink, you can do that now and, and not worry about uh, being infected.